Hello, and welcome to an episode of Big Bonnie and Brush with your host, CNK, that's me, Chrissy Noel Kinslow. Okie dokie, we've got fried eggs all over here. Here's the miniature masterpiece that I just finished. Super awesome. Don't forget, these go up for auction the first Friday of every month, live in the acute auction house. Bids start at 50 bucks. So this here painting is done by an artist who is still with us. He, oh, is he ever with us? And his name is Tolf Sparney, born in 1954. He's a Dutch artist. And um, so he does hyper-realistic, mega-realistic, hyper-realism paintings of everyday objects and he did a series of of eggs fried eggs baked eggs two eggs today we're gonna do this one fried egg and so and we're gonna do it with acrylics although he works in oils we're gonna work in acrylics in order to work with acrylics we need our acrylics we have white yellow brown blue and orange we have our paint brushes. We have a couple, we have a big flat, um, an angle brush and a couple, ooh, that's a terrible brush. And a couple fine, oh, there's another little teeny flat. And a couple little fine tip brushes, rounds as well. We have napkins, plenty of napkins. I printed off the image. You could do that if you wanted to, or you can just paint along with me. We also have water as acrylics is water soluble. Well, it works with water. It's plastic. Okay, let's get crack a We're gonna start by mixing up a super, super, super light blue. Yeah, and although there's like a square pattern in the back, we're not, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do a solid light blue so this is a paint along party you can paint and pause all day long i do not have my music set you can set your music to whatever your hearts desire yes yeah, some of these paintings that um oh my gosh Sparney has created are, are just wonderful. They're so super oh, realistic. Okay, let's get, I'm taking my big brush, getting it wet and wiping it off a little bit. And I'm going to mix a little bit of the blue into this white. I want a super, super light blue. And I want to mix quite a bit of it because I'm going to cover most of the surface. See? Yeah, I even want it lighter than that. So I'm going to pick up more white. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it super, super light baby blue. Bring some of this over into this new white. Yummy. We'll save that darker blue for some of the shadowing of the egg. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. All right, that's nice. That's extremely, extremely light. Super good. Oh, see? Very nice. We're going to start with the top so that we can flip it over. So let's just get that top painted. Sweet. Awesome. We'll go around the edges. Edge. 
wonderful. Sweet. Let's put that baby back in place. And let's just put that big brush away for a second. What we're going to do now is pick up a smaller brush. Get it wet. A little small round brush. And with that light blue, we're going to sketch out where our egg is. worry too much about the detail quite yet, but, you know, try to get the gist of the shape of that egg. Oh, yeah. This is kind of fun. This is not nearly as big as Sparney paints, but it's kind of fun to do it bigger than an egg actually is. All this miniature stuff. Really, you could pick any food that you wanted to and just just paint it as realistic as you possibly can. Fun. It's got me thinking. Okay. That looks like about the shape of the egg. Maybe it's a little smoother through here. Yeah, seems like that's where the bubble is, and then this as well. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go back to the big brush. We can just kind of wipe it off a little on our napkin, and let's get all this painted, all this whole background painted, this nice light blue that we created. Very nice. So, just recently in the news, so I, I started following Sparney on Instagram. You should go check out his work, but he just won the Brilliant Artist of the Year, Dutch Contemporary Artist of the Year 2021. Pretty, pretty darn cool. Congratulations. If you're ever watching this, doubt it, but never can tell. Dreams could happen. He did a painting of the girl with the pearl earring that was not just the girl with the pearl earring because he, he actually adores Vermeer and his super hyper realism. But um, he, so he did this painting of it being like a print and wrapped in bubble wrap with some silly price, like $3 on it or something like that. That's really cool. Super cool. Okay, we're just continuing down, going all the way around. If I am moving faster than you, that's fine. You can just pause me, catch up. We're just going all the way around the edges here. 
Indeed. Waiting for that top to dry so we can flip it. I like to paint all the way around the edges of my painting so that it's complete and you can just hang it right up on the wall without framing it. That's my kind of thing. Oh, it's not just my thing. And this little spot in here that's blue too. Awesome. Woo, getting close to flipping it. And then we'll need to let it dry before we flip it back to where it's supposed to be. Flip it right. Cool. Oh yeah. Digging it, digging it, digging it. And we'll come all along this edge here with a, the darker blue. Be a beautiful, beautiful thing. So, let's fill that top. Feels flippable. So I'm gonna flip it. Paint that top. Okay, looking pretty blue there. Good job. Okay, we're going to take this baby and we're going to flip it so we don't get confused on the shadowing. And let's pick up some of that darker blue. And just kind of. Go along the edge. A little bigger down in through here. Up through there is a darker, darker blue. And shadow right there. Sweet. I'm going to take this smaller, this little angle brush, get some water. Just kind of get it blended in there. Ooh, this angle brush is terrible. Different brush. Time is of the essence. Got to work that acrylic real quick, yo. That's okay, if you don't get it, you can always come back in with the lighter, you know, and fix and blend it. I got a lot of paint right there. We're gonna water. And get that blended in there. Nice. Yeah, that's looking great. We could even go 
even just a teeny tiny bit darker. Really got to get it blended in just along the edges. Get your brush wet. Nice. Right in there. Little spot. This is definitely darker. Just get it nice and blended. Blended. So there's, you know, something about my brush stroke. Uh, it doesn't matter. I always have a cartoony fill to my art. And I don't know, man, it doesn't matter how hard I try. I cannot get this like hyper realism down. So, you know, that's fine. I just embrace what I can do and I have fun along the way. And as long as I'm having fun along the way, then it's successful. Super successful. So that's kind of how I roll. Yep. Mm, something landed here. Piece of my crappy paint brushes. Hey, I'm going back to the big brush and I'm picking up that medium. And it's just kind of all a little darker up in this, through this little corner. Come around the edges too. Just a little bit of dark. I really want to blend it in. So get a little bit of water. Oh yeah, my kitty wanted out. That's fine. Because it is just, just coming around here just a little bit. Get that nice and blended. Awesome. Sweet. So we're going to let this top dry and or the bottom and while that's drying we um can take a little break come back and we'll get started on the egg okie dokie we are back let's get crack a lacking no pun intended your bottom should be dry excellent so let's flip that baby. Sweet. Let's flip that. So we know what in tarnations we're doing. And sorry, I needed a drink of my coffee. We're gonna get some white. And while we were while you were gone, while we were gone. I pulled out some black. So you're going to need to do that. And we are going to do a big old blob of white. And we're going to do a teeny little, you know, as teeny as I can get, a high of black. Just the smidgen littlest. I did good. Wow, that's impressive. All right. So we have our black. That's all we're going to need. Let's get 
our big brush and just wipe it off. Let's not worry about getting it super clean, okay? And we're gonna pick up a teeny bit of black. And we're gonna bring it over here to this white, just a corner of the white. And we're mixing up a really super light gray. That's, that's great. That's great, great. We like that. Okay. Now we're going to take our dirty brush over to another section of the white and just mix up another little bit of white. This time I'm going to come over and pick up just a pinch of the blue. I'm just trying to mix up a couple different hues of white so that when we do the bright white, it really pops. Yeah, okay, I'm picking up a little bit more white because I want to cover the whole egg with this first. Okay. It is just really an off-white. Do you see? It's so off-white. Okay, let's go in and see where that egg yolk is going to be. Something like that. Maybe. Okay, let's get all of this painted in with this really, really light white. All the way up to the edges. Excellent. <laughs> Yeah. If you want to use a smaller brush, you are more than welcome to. Along the edges. I just think this kind of helps keep me kind of, you know, not real, not real smooth. I'm not really thinking about it too much. My fried egg is not going to be exactly like Sparney's fried egg or like your fried egg. I do the best I can though. Oh yeah, that looks really nice up along edge where that shadowing is. Sweet. So then when we go in with our bright white highlights, they'll pop. This is where I kind of messed up over here. Yeah. Just try to get it smoothed out so you don't see any of the brush strokes. Whole egg filled in. Um, I'm gonna break out with a smaller brush now. This little flat brush. It's a little teeny flat brush. And getting that same blue or light, light, what light, 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 white. Getting in here. Oop. Yeah. And Make sure you get all those strokes blended. Nice. And then there's this little guy. And even though it's got that crispy brown, I'm still gonna start it out with this blue. There we go. Or light white, I don't know why I keep calling it blue. And around here, it's this lovely little Hole. 
nice little detail. Yeah. Okay. Fabulous. Looking great. Looking good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go along and we're going to work on some of those burnt spots. So we're going to break out some of our brown and our orange and a little bit of brown or this is actually burnt sienna. Ooh, I did really good with only getting a little bit of paint out. Good job once again. Mwah. Okay. So, Sparney was educated to be a sports teacher, actually, and he rebelled against that and self-taught himself, self-taught himself how to paint a little bit of orange. And he survived by making postcards for a while. So many artists make postcards, and I do my little... Um, trading cards, my MAD, my Miniature Art Daily trading cards. So I do a little bit of that. Okay, I'm breaking out with my small brush and I'm going to create a lighter brown. So we're gonna do that by mixing it with a little bit of the white. We're going to go along everywhere where it's a, a little bit toasty. So along here. Down into there. You're just kind of going along and finding the little toasty spots. A little bigger toasty spot. Along, <clears throat> along the edge here. There's a sweet little piece of shell. Nothing like a piece of shell in your fried egg. Let's get that in there. Okay. A little toasty through here. A little teeny toasty through here. And we start getting toasty. This whole section. Toasty. I don't know about you guys, it's making me a little hungry. And then... kind of bubbly section through here that goes kind of like that all toasty along there yeah We'll add some darker and some orange in through there. It'll look great. Let's see, and then this is all toasty. So it might be the toastiest part all through there. There we go. Mm-hmm. This kind of comes along through here. And toasty. Love it. 
a little bit of dots here and there. See, our egg is starting to come alive. It's alive. Or dead. There we go. It's basically our toasty marks. Okay, let's go through and mix up a little bit of this orange and this brown over here. Not too orange. Just want a little bit different of a color in there. Okay, go ahead and kind of get that in there a little bit. Just everywhere where you put the burnt, just add a little bit of this color. This needs to actually come out here a little bit more. There we go. We're just adding just a little bit of a little bit more color to our burnt edges. Just every now and again. Then I think I'm gonna go through. And that's got a little more orange to it. Yeah, then I think I'm going to go through and get a smaller brush. For my darker brown burn. Maybe a little bit of yellow. And then our burnt edges are done. There we go. Okay. Find yourself a smaller brush. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna pick up that dark brown and every now and again, we're just gonna do a little teeny kind of little bubbles, little burnt edge, little super burnt edge area. Water, get that blended nicely. There we go. And looking at this, I'm realizing that we we missed a spot here. It's kind of like there, right? Add some yellow in there too. Okay. Little bits of this dark brown. Teeny little. Starting to look like a fried egg, right? Green might be starting to look like a fried egg. Okay. Little teeny bits. Here and there. Even some little like dots. Let's get that blended in there. A little bit of 
bit of water. This right around here is super dark, super burnt. Not burnt, perfect, perfectly crispy. And there's little circles. And you can do that by just putting a dot in there and then when it's dry, we'll come back with that lighter brown and put a dot on top of that. Right, it's perfect. Do a little bit of blending. Yep. There's lots of little like dots through there. Like I said, we'll just we'll go through and make it dark. And then go through with some lighter little dots on top of that. It'll be perfect. Right here. It's dark, darker. Little line up through there. Sweet. Excellent. Excellent. And a little blending. Some water. Nice. All right, I'm gonna go through with that lighter. A couple little dots here and there. Yeah, that makes things nice. Just kind of breaks up that darkness a little bit. Sweet, all right, now let's go. Let's pull out a little bit of yellow. <laughs> and just a little bit of golden yumminess. Teeny bit. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay. That much then. Should do that. A little bit of yellow. And let's get some yellow in there. Oh yeah, that's what we needed for that golden crispiness. Yellow blended in, that's nice. I keep saying that, I can't help it. Terrible. A little bit of yellow in there. <clears throat> Just a little teeny. That yellow blended a bit. Put some of that down in here again. Yeah. Get that 
yellow golden crispiness. I'm getting hungry. Probably should have had some breakfast first. Okay, let's kind of blend that yellow in a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. Real washed off brush. Just kind of blend that yellow in. Nice. Hey, let's say we get working on that egg white. <clears throat> okay, so we mixed a, a gray. Let's get some bubbles in there. We want, first of all, let's figure out where that yolk is going to go. Get that circle drawn in there. With that super light, 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 light gray. If you feel very uncomfortable, you are welcome to draw your circle with <clears throat> a pencil. Maybe get a large coffee cup. Okay, so we've got this. We've got a bubble down here. It just goes straight like that. And then a big kind of circle off to the side there. And then another a little bubble off there. I'm just going to kind of blend that in a little bit. We'll go through with a darker gray as well. Tiny, teeny, teeny bit. Those two bubbles go right there. We've got kind of this little line and some Shading all around kind of here. Nice. Some little kind of bubbles. So I'm just going to go through and do some little circly sort of things along here. There we go. Let's get it kind of blended in. <clears throat> Sweet. Throw and do some more kind of squiggle marks. Blending in. Nice. <clears throat> kind of goes along here like a so There's a couple marks through here <clears throat> a little swoopy through here a little wiggle through here dark spot it's all <clears throat> shaded along this side of the yoke. A little 
little bit of that <clears throat> gray up in here. It's kind of this interesting little, I'm not sure what it is, but we'll go around it. And just a little bit more around that side. Get some water and smushy wishy, blendy wendy. <clears throat> okay, yeah. See that? See what's happening? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Get a little darker gray. Picking up some black. Mixing up that little bit darker of a gray. Not too much. It's just a little darker. And I'm going to go through here with some circles. This one has a nice circle. And... All along here, side, let's get this stuff blended in. Circle. Yep. In. Sweet. It actually comes kind of darker through there. Little bit of a Blend it in. Blend it in. Nice. Maybe just a teeny smidge of them in over and hit through here. Teeny. little teeny bit. Some water to blend that in. Okay. Great. Oh, let's just get And before we go to doing our, our pure white, which we're going to do at the very end, we're going to bounce over to the yolk. So without further ado, let's do the yolk. Here we go. Let's see, what kind of a brush, flat brush, like so. I'm going to take a little bit of my white over to my yellow. 
I don't want it super, super bright. I'm also going to pick up a little bit of orange because it's not yellow, yellow. It's orange, yellow. Great. There's my color. Here we go. Get that all filled in. Yeah, looking good. All right, let's get rid of those brush strokes. Blend them in. <clears throat> Go. And we're going to do a little bit more orange over on this side. Just kind of keep blending it until we get it blended. Might have to let it dry a little bit. We want to get that oranger on one side. For sure. <clears throat> Reminds me of a joke. A gentleman visits a museum. Suddenly, he stops and says to the guide, Ah, it's ugly. I beg your pardon, sir. That's a Picasso, the guide answers. Further on, the gentleman again explains, exclaims, Ah, it's really ugly. When the guide replies, Pardon me, sir. That's a mirror. Pa -dum, pa -dum, pa -dum. Just blend it along the edges. Just lightly coming through and blending it my brush, just the right amount of water. A little bit orange on the edge. Very nice. So I highly suggest y'all go check out Sparney. He's really, really, really cool. That hyper realism is just super sweet. I'm gonna take just a little bit of the yellow. Come along here, lighten up this edge. that blended in. Sweet. I'm feeling really good about that. Now I'm gonna go back to my pure white. So I'm gonna pick up a, 
some small little brush here. And I'm gonna go through and do some of these details. Little dots. So this is that pure, this is pure white. All white. So nowhere on your egg white should be the pure white until now. So this is where we're going to go through and put all of our yummy highlights. Take little areas little areas kind of blend it in little dots here and there it's this nice little streak Nice white lights in there. A lot of white up and long through here. Along here. Get some little circles in here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. This is like, I'm pretty proud of myself. I hope you guys are too. If you're enjoying what you're doing, make sure you subscribe. I'd love to see your work as well. So, Share your finished pieces with me. Remember, these come out on the 10th, 20th, and 30th of every month. Okay, and now let's get those highlights in the egg. Got this oval. Through here. There. Let's make 
that even wider just around the edges it's like there's this lovely little ring excellent <laughs> and again uh, just this little blob random love it okay my egg is complete so I'm going to sign it and be done Hope you had a good time today. I did. See? Always sign your paintings. Thank you, Sparne, for the inspiration. Appreciate it. Keep on doing you. And until next time, much love and stay creative.